What is up guys, this is Nick. We are back and the July 10th patch for Black Desert on the Xbox One just launched and we got the new class Ninja into the game. So we're going to be doing a little bit of an episode today on the class. I'm not going to be continuing this past this episode probably. It's enough for, it's, it's enough for me to just keep up with Yennefer, which I'll have a video hopefully maybe tomorrow going over some stuff with her. Um, not entirely sure. There was a thing in the patch today that really helps people like me who might not have enough time to grind this day after day after day for hundreds of hours. So we'll get into that later, but we're going to be starting up the ninja today. Um, I went ahead and named the character Strike Ninja. It's after, if you guys didn't know, I collect PSA cards, like, like PSA cards, these slabs of both Yu-Gi-Oh and Pokemon. Um, and so the point is, is that's where I got the name of the character. If you look at the camera there that's the card that this is based off of couldn't think of anything else so that's what it is but i have a ton of slabs over there it's kind of messy i'd show you if it wasn't so messy but yeah i buy and sell a bunch of psa related cards this is probably my favorite one while this is loading up i just got this in uh it's an absol from pokemon uh but it's a one-on-one in the world it, it's not that special or anything it, it just looks really nice but yeah Enough of that. We're here for Black Desert. But I wanted to give a little backstory on why I chose that name. And that's essentially why I chose that name. And so, every once in a while, like you know, if you watch my Final Fantasy XIV videos when I was doing those, I will be going back to Final Fantasy XIV. It just might not be for quite some time. Um, I have a light semester of college this fall, so maybe we'll go back this fall and, and check that out uh, again. Um... Are you awake? These are the memories of the forgotten world. Sorry, but you should have known better. Okay. And by popular demand... We have the camera over here instead of over on the right side of the screen. I'm just going to skip the tutorial because, you know, we played this game enough. Okay, so I'm going to skip the dialogue because we don't... I mean, I've started this, like, what feels like 500 times at this point. I know it's not that much, but I feel like I've played this way too much like the beginning part of this because i've started so many characters uh we gotta examine the artifact i just want to get to some of the combat back out go back to eden or no wait jurette jurette domingot okay so now we need to bring out the black spirit warm up okay so now we need to go fight some gray foxes okay i, I kind of like this are those shurikens that he's throwing? That's cool. That's the right that's the right trigger. I know they said this was a hard class to get used to and kind of learn, but I like this. I can get behind this. I do need to figure out what character I'm gonna use on PlayStation. And like right now it's Lon if she's out at launch, but I mean if they keep releasing new characters as time goes on. I'm, you know, Lon might not be the only option anymore. Kill a little bit more of these. I know I need to kill the foxes, but these are actually more challenging enemies. Probably start each fight, dash back. Do that. We'll look at the outfits that they released for him to start this as well. Because, you know, I'm all about the fashion and the cosmetics. I forgot to turn... I forgot to turn off the dialogue on the side of the screen but i do need to figure out what character i'm going to be playing on playstation and then i got to figure out how on earth i'm going to juggle playing on playstation and xbox when i can barely get the xbox down to playing that enough i really like this character the hold rb is really nice that attack and you can start fights with the shurikens i really like that or if you run out of health and you need to back up you can still deal damage with the shurikens I really do like that. That's 
That's not what I want. I don't want my... My attendance rewards on this character. Oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, well, I'm going to play it long enough. I can put it on the black on the central market for this character, or for my account. Okay, so let's come over here. We're going to play about 5, 10 minutes on this. 5 or 10 minutes longer. And then we'll cut ahead. I'll play a little bit off camera, and we'll cut ahead and, and take a look a little bit later on in character progression. But I really like this so far. I might do a part two. I never know exactly what I'm going to do with these because obviously I have a hard enough time getting regular videos out on my Sorceress, which is my main. I do have to say I think I prefer Lon, but I'm so heavily invested in that Sorceress and I love playing her that I just can't play the Lon over her. So it kind of just turns into that, I, that I'd rather play her. Talk to Eden. It must be destiny that brings you. Quickly skip through all of this. Can I back out, please? Okay. The artifact. Okay, I'm gonna skip the cutscene. That was like that was a really clean skip. I just want to get to fighting a little. Yeah, here we go. We can fight some of these young tree uh, spirits. I just wanted to get to a little bit more early game fighting here. Before I try to speed run over to a little bit. We'll probably beat Red Nose in this episode, maybe. Um, I have a little bit of a time crunch. So, obviously you guys can't hear this, you know, me talking about this in present time. But my point is, is that videos have been... The plan is always to put videos out at 10 p.m. Eastern time. Um, but it might end up being later. Because... It just depends on how long it takes me to get to Red Nose and do some of that stuff, but... Because I have work. I have work soon. Damage is a little lackluster for my liking. Put that on. Obviously, it's all relative. I mean, comparing damage early game. When you don't have an upgraded weapon, it's kind of pointless but it does feel kind of weak for the start here i mean that's a lot of hits to kill stuff i do like the the ability or not the ability but the the kind of chained into ability there where you swipe up swipe up and then you can kind of do this it's like a five swing combo yeah it's five swings they tend to get the job done you can kind of lead in with your strong attack and then go into the lighter attacks. And for some enemies, it launches them up in the air, so that's really nice. Or you can end off that combo. So probably the best thing to do is to do that combo and then hit that and then hit it again and then go back into this. Just for straight mob clearing. Okay, so we completed that. I think the next thing is just, yeah, to kill the young, mature, take our gift. There we go. Inventory expansion slots. The good stuff that you gotta get. Yeah, like, I like the shuriken. It just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel like it does quite enough damage. Let's see. Oh, did it give me credit for already beating that? Okay. I guess it gave me credit for killing all the... I think it just gives me credit for killing those tree spirits every time. I don't really know why. It's just that quest. It's always just complete on new characters when I, when I do that. So let's do this. Let's do it. Let's fight a couple of mature tree spirits here. I mean, it's the damage, I don't know. I like this character, but man, that early game damage is just some garbage. Okay, so while we're running here, before I cut this, let's take a look at... Well, we're right here. Let's talk to you. Okay. We'll fight the imps in a second here. But let's take a look at what outfits we got going on here. I'm hoping it'll load. My store's been kind of finicky and not wanting to load. That's not bad looking. What's this one? Ah, the Carlstein. It's going to be nothing special. So we have one outfit right now. 
It's this one. It's all right. Real quick, while my things are loading, I want to look at the new sorceress stuff that I hadn't... I think I'd seen this before, but... Yeah, it's not better than what I have. That's my issue. Is I would buy a new outfit, but none of them are better than the one that I have. I really love the one that I have. And so, you gotta beat that. I really like this one, but it's just not better than the one I have. <laughs> so, all, all they gotta do to get money from me is to put something out that looks better than the one I have, but they have failed. This could have been really cool. I could have really liked this one, but... I don't know, I just, I don't, it's close. It's really close to making me want to buy it, but uh, it's not. The one that I have is, uh, I can't even show you. It's the, it's the one that's not in the store anymore. It's like my, it's my favorite outfit that I've seen in this game. I really like it. And I like how it has like the... I, not wings, but they're like in the wing spot for like a character and they look really nice It's like as if she had wings, but they're more like lace drapes on her back. I don't know. I really like it Okay, so let's go back here and after I complete this this is probably where I'll make the cut and we'll jump ahead Go ahead and complete that no, We only have to kill 10 imps. So let's Let's slaughter 10 imps, and then... One of these times, I think we stop doing the simple stuff like this. We actually have to go do, like, a talking quest. That's when, that's when I want to cut it. Man, I do really like this combat on this character. It feels really fluid. Ooh, you can do a backflip with that? Okay. And there's some actual pretty good movement for this as well. Alright, let's go back and turn this in. And they spawn really close here. We're almost level 10 already. It's so funny to me how quickly you level up all the way until 50. And then it's just like, oh, you hit 50 and it's just a nightmare to level. 55 to 56 is just the worst. Okay, yeah, now we have to head over to the main area. I'm going to go ahead and cut ahead, and I'll be back when we get to more exciting stuff. And I, I want to level up a little bit, so we'll hit it back up in a little bit, and I'll catch you guys then. Peace. All right, so we are back. And we're going to wrap up the video here, not right now, but we're going to wrap up the video after we defeat the Ultra Imps, do that stuff, and then kill Red Nose. Uh, that'll be the end of the video. I'll emphasize it again at the end, but let me know if you guys want a second part to this or something like that. I can definitely make that happen. Uh, might not be till Friday or Saturday. I have a busy day tomorrow, which is Thursday, uh, so there will be probably an AFK Arena video on Thursday, but... Um, yeah, just let me know. I went ahead and bought some equipment here. These were just sitting in my marketplace. I can't sell them, so I just put them on the character or whatever. A bear's belt pry and a bear's necklace pry. Um, and then a plus 10 as well short sword for him just to kind of test it out and see, um, see what kind of damage we can do. We did get some better gear, but I just want to test this out. So we should absolutely destroy these things, but... The one thing that I like, so now we have, so if I do this, he does this like explosive attack out of it. So you can hit guys in front of you and then explode forward with it. I guess explode, well explode's the correct word. You kind of, you power forward, jump forward. Um, so it starts you into the next mob. So if you're in thick, denser mobs later in the game, like um, the downstairs part uh, of um, Helm's Post, like the... The part where you go into like that cave, that part of it, where it's really thick mobs where you're fighting and then you kind of have to keep moving from mob to mob, but they're real dense and real close. Um, this attack could do really well for something like that. Uh, we're going to take a look at skills before I end the video as well. I haven't taken a look at any of those yet. I wanted to get enough levels so that we actually can do something. 
but I, I do like this character. It's it's up on the list. It's probably higher than like... Okay, so I have to... I'll take a look and rank it because I have to go off of the things I've played. I can't rank it based on stuff I haven't... I, like, I haven't played the Shy, which I should probably do. I need to make a video and play on that. Test that character out because I haven't... I know I missed the launch event, but whatever. I should still probably play as the brand new character for everybody. And I'm happy that they decided to release it on Xbox, even though we're missing characters, like, um, we're missing characters, obviously, but I'm happy that they released Shy, so I'm gonna come up here. So, I'll show you guys the characters that I played. So, I played Sorceress, obviously, Witch, Ranger. I played Ranger on the beta a lot, so I, so I do have a little bit of knowledge of Ranger. Um, uh, what's, uh, Striker... Musa, Lon, and Dark Knight. So I would probably rank them in order of my personal preference to play is Lon, Sorceress, um, Musa, Dark Knight, then Ninja. But it's really close between the final three. I really like Lon and Sorceress. They're definitely 1A, one, 1B. One 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 and then it's kind of 3 through 5 is really close right now between Musa, Striker, or Musa, Ninja, and Dark Knight. Uh, I didn't. I didn't like Striker at all, um, and I don't like Witch at all. She's a little too easy to play for me. I don't know. It's it's just a little too like. It's a little too like simple, mind-numbingly simple. You just kind of spam your lightning on anything that's. You just spam your lightning on anything that's not a person. Like if you're just doing PVE content, you just spam that lightning. Uh, so we'll grab our Black Spirit Grift, and then now the Staff of Agris. So now we need to kill more enemies. But even the regular B, not the held B, the held B is my favorite because it does that explosive strike forward, but even the regular RB's combos is really nice. But obviously that's pretty much all I've got now, except I do have this now. This thing, look at that thing, that is... That's like top tier sick. <laughs> it doesn't have. We'll use it on the boss. We'll use it on Red Nose, but like for this, it, it does. Like, what's the point of doing this on one guy? Woo! Get destroyed, one dude. But we'll clean. We'll do that on the uh, on Red Nose, because I mean that's just sick. That's just one. Of, that's that's probably one of the cooler attacks in all of the game. I can't think of an attack that's cooler. I really like the Lon's fluid motion attack, but that's not a better, cooler attack than that. And you can just hold it down and it'll just keep doing it. So, like, with a boss, you can absolutely destroy it. So, yeah, I definitely think I am 100% open to doing another video if you guys want to see it. Uh, we'd probably do it in the same style as this. And this is probably similar to the style that I'll do on PlayStation for whatever character I choose to do over there. I'm leaning a lot over there. Leaning is a, is a light term for what I'm feeling for over there. All right, is it red nose time? Oh, we gotta meet tiny nose and then it's red nose time, but the hard lean is lawn, but I could also see myself just finishing lawn on Xbox and having my two favorite characters over here on the console that I main. And then having something else over on PlayStation for fun. Which, if that was the case and I decide to just have Lon over here. This is a strong candidate. Because this is a fun... This is fun to play as this. Okay. Do I have the boss scroll now? Yeah, I do. Okay. This is going to be tragically terrible for Red Nose. Because we're just going to do that awesome attack on him. I just like this character. I... I say this like every time I play a character because a lot of the combat in this game just feels really nice. Um, I know witches and wizards are kind of integral part of PvE farming in massive groups, but those characters are just so boring compared to some of these other things. I'll clear out some of these guys real quick. Okay, let's go ahead and... Bring in good old Red Nose. It's been a while since I've seen Red Nose. I still need to do the event quests on my sorceress. I just remembered that. I was thinking of the boss 
the end game like boss quests they give you to do for your week. I think they're weeklies. Um, cause that's the last time I fought Red Nose, I think. Alright, let's party, Red Nose. Are you hittable yet? I think, yeah, he's hittable. Oh, that attack is so sick! And it works so good on bosses, because they're big targets. So I'm assuming here, I'll explain this. So, when you do that attack, I'm assuming each one of those slashes does damage. Obviously, I don't know that for sure. But I'm assuming each one of those slashes, if they connect, does X amount of damage. And it's not just a, oh, if any piece of that slash connects, then that's what that's what causes like th that does the t there does a set amount of damage no matter how many of those hit i doubt that's how it works so on those bosses that's just absolutely just a crazy cool attack it's a cool attack and it's super useful if each one of those slashes if it hits counts as damage that's like perfect grab that grab that Okay, so I'm going to go talk to this guy real quick just so we can get have it advanced to the next area. Not going to do that in this episode, but we can at least advance it. Okay, so let's take a look at the skills. Let's come up here and pop open the skill menu. So we could learn target chase. I want oh, he can't, okay, tar, so target chase isn't something that you can preview, but ghost step is. So ghost step is just, um, I'm assuming you get iframes during the step. Um, yeah, you get iframes or super armor through these steps, so that's nice. Fatal blow. Eh. That's a really, yeah, it's a really good PvE only skill. Not really great for me. Does this not do... Mm, that's all right to move from player or er, to move from mob to mob. That's really nice. Floor sweeping. I like that. Knocks people down. Ooh, kunai throw. Interesting. I don't want to do anything with the shurikens. I mean, obviously we know what this does. You throw a shuriken. Shuriken malice. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, what's this? Shadow Slash. This is probably an important skill for me to pick up, just the way I play. Ninjutsu Concealment. Ooh, that's really cool. Invisible for 15 seconds. Obviously, you get detected if you attack, but that's really cool. Ankle Cutter. Yeah, that's probably a skill that I... I'm going to pick up Ankle Cutter. And I'm going to pick up Shadow Slash. Now, what do I have left? Okay, so I can get Shuriken Malice, so I'm going to get that. And we still have 11. I'm going to get the Floor Sweep and Fatal Blow. I know this isn't... Yeah, I'm going to get Fatal Blow, even though it doesn't really fit. So, oh, that's just... That is a sick attack. So, let me go find... Let me do it on this guy. That's sweet. That's really, that's a really cool attack. The little demo of that does not do it justice. That's really cool, and you could do it fairly quickly. There's my angle cutter. That's pretty, that's a nice attack. I'm assuming that it can knock people down. Oops. Hold on, I gotta let the skill cool down. Alright, skill cool down. Okay, so let's go over here. Why did it not do my ankle cutter? There we go. Yeah, I think it knocks him down. I do too much damage. Let me take my weapon off. Put that on. Okay. Pull my sword out. Uh, I still one-shot him. I'm not even using a strong weapon anymore. <laughs> I'm using the L short sword, which is 10 to 14. Okay, I think it'll knock down stronger, stronger enemies. I know that the... Okay, pull out my weapon. I know this will definitely knock people down. And you can do it on... Ooh, you can do it unlimitedly. That's nice. Yeah, that definitely will knock people down. I know I do too much damage now to show it, but that will definitely knock enemies down, so that's good. 
Uh, the rotation for this character actually pretty nice. Kind of, you could hit them with the ankle cutter, and if they're down, you could sweep them. You could floor sweep them, or you could floor sweep them to the ground and then ankle cut. Because I'm sure the ankle cut would hit guys that are on the ground too. But uh, yeah, that's gonna do it for the first episode of the Ninja. Leave in the comments if you want to see a part two of this. We'll go ahead and advance. I'll probably advance it a decent amount. Get us past the. Um, I'll probably try to get us. If I decide to do a second episode, I'll probably get us past Heidel. So we would be going to Glish. We'd be going to this stuff. That's probably what the second episode would start with. Because a lot of the next part is boring, like story... Not boring, but it, it's boring for videos purposes of story-related stuff that I've done a million times on the channel and, and, and stuff like that. So that's where we'd probably go in the next episode because I'd advance the story to that point and we'd head there. But let me know if you guys want to see it. I'll shut up and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.